Alrighty, hello everyone, Fudgy here, and welcome back to another Unturned video. Welcome back to Southport. Here we are, it's a beautiful day, and we are ready to get started on this episode. So what we're going to do to begin with is, well, for stars, we should get rid of this campfire because... We don't need it anymore. It looks kind of strange in the bedroom, which by the way, we still need to upgrade. There's so much work to be done today and well, just for the next few days, really. Like we have so much to like do. This room is completely empty, hasn't been touched at all. Same with this one. It's going to be our computer room eventually. We just need to find some more stuff for it. But I think you all know what time it is. And that time is to harvest the berries. It has to be done. There we go. We are getting so many now. This is so good. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip this part because we do this pretty much at the start of every single episode. And yeah, it's not very exciting. Um, why can I hear a helicopter? And why can I hear sirens at the same time? All right. Well, cancel the berry making planting stuff. What is going on? Let me go to my balcony. Maybe that might give us a better view. What the? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to see here, officers. All right, looks like we got the police in town. Um, that's a little bit worrying. Okay, so we are planting berries, but as long as they don't know anything about it, we should be fine. That's kind of weird. They're landing right outside my house as well. This is really strange. Okay. It looks like they're coming to my house. This is not good. Uh-oh, they're at my door. Okay, not good. Um, all right, I'm coming to the door. We've got to hide the berries. Let's shut this door here. Okay, nothing to see here. Oh, hey, Moon Thief. Hello. How you doing, buddy? It's Moon Thief. He's part of the police force now? Hey, what's up? Uh, everything uh, okay? Uh, we got something to show you, mate. Okay. Come with us. Okay. Give, give me one second. I just need to uh, drop something off, okay? Okay, okay well, that, what, <laughs> this is weird. All right, so I guess me Beaver is part of the, uh, the police force. Um, let's quickly plant these berries, actually. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, they're not in a rush. Why do they want me to come with them, though? That's kind of odd. Also, <laughs> I guess it's good to see me Beaver, um part of the police force. He said he has something to show me. Do you hear that? Oh. You think he's doing something illegal in there? No, no, not doing anything illegal. I'm planting tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Okay, hopefully I'm not getting arrested right now. Let's keep planting these <laughs> these berries. <laughs> the police are right aside and I'm still doing this. Oh! Hey! Oh, okay, it's a one-way window. They can't see in. It's fine. Can't see anything as all the windows covered. See? <laughs> they can't see anything. Now, Meme Thief is a good friend of mine, so... I'm sure he can turn a blind eye if he ever knew I was doing anything like this. I hope so, anyway. Okay, there we go. We planted all the berries. That actually worked out perfectly. All right, I'll carry out now. Sorry about that. I think everyone's on edge a little bit to uh, why the police are here. Now, this is a little bit strange. So, Meme Thief, um, how did you get into the police force? Uh, I flew my jet over here. You had you. So, wait, you flew a private jet over here, and now you're part of the police force? Uh-huh. All right, well, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you, man, anyway. You too. I'll be honest, I didn't even know there was a police force. Um, but, well, I guess there is because Mean Thief is, is in it. Why do these things keep happening every time? I literally, I start an episode and then something happens. I end up getting a knock on my door by the Sopranos or all the police in this case. And I'm not too sure why they want me exactly, but we're going to find out soon enough. Maybe they need my help or something. I'm not too sure, but we're going quite far. Whoa. I just heard some gunshots. Hopefully no one's shooting at us. Where are we going anyway? We have to ask you to put that them binoculars down. All right, you, you got it, man. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Entered region police. Wow, this place is seriously well protected. It's got barbed wire going all the way around it by looks of the compound, wherever this is. I guess it's the police station? Would you even call this a police station? Oh, uh, pull up a little bit. Okay, or jump out. Okay, I'm gonna need you to put all your weapons Whoa. in uh, this crate over here for the safety right. of you and my men. All right, so they want to put all my weapons uh -huh. away in here, which is a little bit worrying. I mean, does a flashlight count as a weapon? I don't think it does. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, come with us. This is this is really cool, actually. But at the same time, worrying Welcome because the police depot. Well, be now I have to look out for the police with the berries. Stuff. Don't pull out anything; they will immediately obliterate you. All right, you got it, man. This place is actually epic. We've got all the turrets okay, the watching me. the reason I brought me. you over here is you remember the Fugo Wisps, right? Yeah, of course I do, man. He's headquarters. All right. Well, oh. recently I've been seeing that we've had some, uh, as it shows here, disappearances, ritual sites. we got a bunch of stuff going over here, and um, I think it all links over to Fugo. 
Magic? What's what's that about? The yeah. Fugoist using magic now? Oh, uh, I think they might. <laughs> you remember uh, how they disabled the safe zone? Yeah, what, you think that's to do with magic? Yeah, I think it has some satanic ritual stuff or something. Alright, well, some sort. fair enough. I mean, it's a good observation, I guess. Now, I don't know if you know about this meme or not, but we actually encountered a Fugoist, a Fugoist scout the other day. I don't suppose you know about that, do you? I heard about that. Word's been going around about that as well. So, there could be a possibility that they're actually pinpointing our location. Well, we gotta prepare for that then. We do indeed, but I'm glad you're on the case. Looks like you're doing some good work here. Been trying to track down where they have any settlements or anything around here. Yeah, it's a good good idea. We need to uh, fight back. Well, have you seen Lorenzo? I've been trying to find him as well. Um, unfortunately, man, Lorenzo, he didn't make it. Oh, no. Then we're truly lost. It's a, uh, it's a big loss, I know, we need but... Him and the Sopranos. If we work together, we'll be okay. So, uh, how many people are in the police force anyway? Uh, there's about eight people in the police force right now. Eight people? Um, yes. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Are the Sopranos still lying around anywhere? Yeah, man. Quite a few of them actually made it over from Russia. So we still got some more people that can help. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to have the police force and the uh, Sopranos working together side by side, right? That was the plan. And, uh, you know, I'm not asking on my behalf about this, but what are your uh, laws and, and things on, on, on berries? Uh, we haven't really thought about berries yet, but we're, we've are we been too uh, overwhelmed by this right now. Okay, so let, let's say someone... Up some actual laws. I see. Let's say someone was selling berries. Maybe they were growing them. Um, would you maybe arrest them, or what would happen? Possibly. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I'm just just asking, you know, in general. Uh, no reasons why. No reason? Okay, okay. Yeah, no it, reasons. It, it seems fair. Seems fair. All right, well, I think we're actually going to leave the, uh, the police let's station now. Let's head back now. to the safe zone. Yeah, all right. Let's go back. I mean, this is a really nice place you got here, though. Yep. Happy I found it while I did. Got it a little uh, refurbished. You know, I'm kind of glad we have a police force on the, on the server now. You know, we get a lot of KOS going on, and... I mean, KOS is allowed, but it'd be nice if we could have, have someone, like, could help out from time to time. Alright, let's go get my weapons back, and hopefully <laughs> the turrets won't shoot me. Alright, it's very important. I do not equip these weapons, otherwise it is game over for me. Alright, all good. Oh man, that is dangerously close to the barbed wire. Hey, dude, um, Meme Thief, I know this might be a little bit unprofessional, but if you look in the chat, loot just respawned, so... Do you guys maybe want to go out looting with me? Sure. Yeah, I'd head, I'd head over to Delrad. Oh, by the way, it's that Norad where we found the, uh, the Fugoist, the Scout. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it camping out over there? Oh, he ran out of fuel on his helicopter. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know if you had any, uh, communication with the other Fugoist? Um... That we're not too sure. He said that the other guys could come looking for him, but I'm not sure, man. All right, so since loot just respawned, we're going to go out looting with the police force here. Now, fortunately, we have quite a lot of firepower, and uh, yeah, we should be okay if anyone tries to attack us. Now, I really do need some more loot, so I'm glad we're doing this. But yeah, while we're actually flying over to uh, this loot location, if you guys do want to keep up with the series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on, and also drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. I will be posting many more episodes very soon, so if you do subscribe, that way you won't miss out. Man, this place is awesome. There's still so much to explore. Now, let's have a look around while we're in the helicopter. There's a boat there. I wonder if uh, loot respawns on there. Probably does. Now, if anyone's at NORAD military base, I'm going to be really upset because it means they're going to take all the loot, and I want it for myself. All right, we're coming up onto the location now. Getting pretty close. There it is, NORAD military base where we found the Fuguist Scout. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be there anymore, but let me just check it out. Oh, looks pretty clear. Looks like someone's been building. And we're here. Right, let's get to work with these zombies. There we go, take them out one by one. Oh, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Now, in the last episode, I got the Honey Badger, and I don't really have much ammo for it, so I'm hoping while we're here we can get some more mags. Now, the ammo I just picked up, the ammo box, we can use that. Um, so I probably will we just need some more boxes or, um, well, oh, there we go. Military drum. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh, excuse me, fellas. 
There we go. Let's take pretty much everything. Like I said in a previous episode. Oh, landmine. <laughs> that could come in handy one day. Uh, like I said in previous episodes, I've got into the habit of not picking everything up. Especially like cloves. But I need... Oh, dragon fang box. So much of these and I don't understand why. So yeah, let's just pick everything up because we need the cloth. So we can make some more bandages. <laughs> and then possibly even dressings. Frag grenade. Another dragon fang box. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something weird going on with the whole dragon fang box thing. I just really need to find a dragon fang and then I'll be uh, good to use it. Alright, we might as well check the tower. It looks like the police aren't really doing... Or meme thief are not doing much looting. Looks like they're just kind of like defending me, <laughs> which is interesting. I'm bored. Yeah, what's up? Whoa! I can, I can hear it, I can hear it. Whoa, that, is that an airdrop or is that... No, that's someone in there. Hey guys, we've got to check it out. We've got to check it out. Um, we got another player who just flew over our heads with a plane. Hey, that's that's not good. It could be a scout. All right, I'm just gonna get some more fuel. I'll be two seconds, okay? All right, we got a fuel tank here. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. We might as well fill up with this. There we are, and also jump, this jump, possible jump. gas can. There we go. We're all good. Now we can refill choppy, hopefully. Whoa, I hear shooting going on. Oh, we got a helicopter. Wait, who is that? Who is that? Yeah, I won't be able to get a shot on them. Not with a night raider anyway. I need some more long distance weapons. They landed, they landed. All right, copy that. Hey, watch out. They could have snipers, guys. Oh, there, 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 there. I see him. Possibly grizzly. Hey, do you guys want to get into the military base? We'll hold off on there. Yeah, run in, run in. Yep, they're uh, 205 in our position. I believe they're trying to push up, so make sure to stay in cover, guys. We got one pushing southwest. All right, I'm going to take cover from one of these buildings here. I'm going to turn a bunch of uh, stuff I found into cloth. I'm going to make sure they're not taking us up from the flank as well. well. It looks pretty clear. I'm not too sure how many there were. I think there were maybe two or three. Roughly about the same amount of people. All right, let's turn all this stuff into cloth. Now we can make bandages. There we go. Turn it into dressing. If we get hit, we should be okay. Okay, so I think we've got one guy out front somewhere over there and another one over here. Now, unfortunately, I have nothing I can use to maybe... Oh, unless I do have something that can help us up. Maybe put a tank trap there. All right, I've had a plan. I'm making a metal pipe so I can peek over. We'll put it on top of the tank trap here. There we go. That should work really well. Oh, my goodness. Look at the zombies. <laughs> Trying to eat them. All right, so I think there's one on this side. I heard him shooting over here. Oh, I can actually see him. Come on. I got him. I got him. He's down. He's down. Yes, that worked so good. Nice. All right, I got one, guys. I got one. Yes, <laughs> the metal pipe worked perfectly. Did you guys get the other guy, or is he still around? No. There's another one by the front gate. All right, copy that. All right. Oh, we got a lot of shooting going down. Did you get him? Yep. All right, good job, boys. Is there any more? Is that it? There's only two. That's it, that's it. All right, good job. Take your stuff. I'm going to see what this guy had. Oh, we did it. Yes. All right, here's this guy's stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, we had a heartbreak. Yes, another honey badger. All right, awesome. So, he didn't have too much on him. It looks like he came out with the intention of PvP. So, he had some somewhat decent stuff on him. Honey badger is awesome. So, we now have two of them. All right, boys, we got to go. Yep, let's uh, get out of here. Yeah, let's go. It's dangerous. <laughs> We're attracting a lot of attention. All right, we're leaving this place. Good job, fellas. There's the helicopter. We're just going to leave it. None of us have a, um, a steely wheelie or anything like that. So we're going to leave it be. They can come back for it. They tried fighting us, but we came out on top. So I managed to kill one guy. I mean, if you've got the other one. All right, you want to just head back to the safe zone? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, does it? Um, so I think Mean Thief had decided to do some stunts on the way back to the safe zone. He's having a little bit of fun in the helicopter, which is making me a little bit nervous, but we'll we'll let him do it, you know. I don't think we really have a say in the matter, but there we go. So the stuff I just got from that guy, I'm probably going to sell it. Uh, we have two honey badges now, but they could sell for a good price if I manage to sell one. All right, we're always back in Southport now. We're not safe just yet. We're getting there, though. So yeah, that was pretty exciting. Um, it's a shame we couldn't get out looting for a bit longer. I feel like there's a lot of people outside the safe zone. So, you know, we saw the plane come over. And then that helicopter came with those two guys trying to kill us. So we got pretty lucky there. All right, there's Choppy. Now, someone suggested that we should put Choppy on top of the garage. But I don't know. People can still jump up there just as easy. So it doesn't really matter. Whoa. Okay. 
Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Good stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about whatever he's up to. He's hovering for some reason. Oh, he's, I think he's going to go for a front foot there. All right, we're just going to flat it. Oh. All right, we're good. We're good. There we go. We're back. It's getting pretty late, so we should probably just call it a night, yeah? Nice seeing you, Boris. And you, bro. All right, I'll tell you what. We will call it a night. So thank you once again for taking me out looting with you guys and also showing me the station. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to head home, okay? All right. See you later. See you fellas around. Let's go ahead and watch them take off, shall we? We'll watch from upstairs. Hey, Meat Thief, do a backflip. All right, we're going to watch Meat Thief do a backflip in the helicopter. Um, I, if anything goes wrong, I'm going to feel really bad because I did ask him to do it. So here we go. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is one skilled pilot. And there they go. What legend. So, yeah. What a nice way to introduce the police on the server, I guess. But that means now we haven't got any work done today, unfortunately, really. Well, apart from the looting we did. So I guess that kind of works. Now, I am going to put one honey badger up for sale since we already have one. I think they're a little bit more common on this map. So we will sell that one. I'm sure we'll find more soon. But yeah, we actually did pretty good for loot. Killed that guy. Pretty awesome stuff. Got a bunch of raw explosives. We do need to upgrade our storage. We are running pretty low. So we could do with getting an even bigger locker here. But yeah, now that we're safe and sound in the safe zone, I'm actually going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link for both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.